I'm Emma Sidinski. I'm from Seattle, and I'm here to be the producer and director for my group for Bumbershoot Creative Corps. I'm Owen Burr. I go to the uh, Center School in Seattle, Washington, and I'm here to run around and videotape bands and interview musicians and then edit that footage. Hi, I'm Emma Mercer. I'm from Seattle, Washington. I go to the Center School. I'm here to get experience in live video with musicians and interviews. I was here last year. Um, it was a great experience last year. I got some great interviews. Um, I got to interview Big Sean, which was really cool. And this year is no different. It's still wonderful. It's um, a great experience in um, management for myself, being producer. It's a really great um, experience in um, learning responsibility and being able to direct a team. I also did this last year. and. I think this year is going a lot more smoothly than last year. Last year, it was the first time doing it and they just decided, all right, we're going to do this bummer shoot thing. So there was a lot of throwing stuff together last minute, a lot of people not knowing exactly what they were doing, but this year everyone's kind of pulled together and it's become a lot smoother process and I think the end result's going to be a lot better. I also did this last year and it was an amazing experience and it really opened my eyes to um, thinking on my feet and being constantly ready to go where as needed. Um, it's a really great environment to be doing this type of thing and this year, like Owen said, it's just been a lot smoother. Um, it's a lot more organized and it's been a great time. It's very fun, especially with uh, being able to go backstage and meet artists. Um, it might be a great learning experience, but no one can deny that it's kind of awesome to be able to flash a little wrist badge and be like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be here, um, where it's very much a no-no zone. So yeah, that's, that's definitely fun. I think what's most fun about the BCC is getting to, be, getting to be on par with all the adults working there. And when usually when you, when you would have high schoolers working with adults, the high schoolers would be doing a lot of the grunt work and running back and forth and getting coffee and stuff like that. But in the BCC, all the high schoolers are getting to shoot the bands and edit the footage and get exactly the experience that they need to get good at this sort of thing. So what's most fun about this is all the experience that you get, I think. Yeah, what I definitely enjoy about this is that um, shooting live music and stuff is kind of what I want to go into for a life pr profession and this is just a great opportunity to actually get like knowledge in the business and work with a, like people who actually are doing this as a career and um, you get to meet a lot of great people and having it be in Seattle at the Seattle Center I mean Bummer Shoot's always been like a part of my life and it's an amazing festival so yeah it's all around just great <laughs> t-shirt colors I, I like this t-shirt better than last year's t-shirt I don't know about you guys but um, I don't know I think it's a it's a nice shirt I'll wear this around show it off uh, I don't know what do you guys think uh, last year the shirts were kind of like a just a black shirt with kind of a light or darker gray um, lettering of just BCC and I actually kind of like that a little more because it lets you blend in a little bit and people weren't always coming up to you and asking because these you know they say bumper shoot running the thing so people think oh you're just working here where where's everything but um, yeah it's nice you know I like it because it makes me look official. Yeah. Um. I'm personally a fan of last year's black shirts. Um, you wouldn't, you couldn't tell by my hair, but I, I'm much more comfortable in like all black and dark colors. And also, this one has a lot of wording on the back. Oh yeah, there's that. And last year didn't, so I don't know. I mean, shirts don't bother me though. Highlights this year. Um, personally, I just got to interview um, the the Redwood plan and that was really cool to interview them well generally it was it was a really smooth interview I love their music I don't know if you know their bass player is the one who designed the bumper shoot logo so it was really cool to meet him and tell him that he did an awesome job because he did I love the logo I generally love being I, I like running around so today has been kind of a frantic running around day like oh we, we just got this now you need to run there and that's a highlight for me because I'm crazy and I love that sort of stuff. Um, the highlight of my weekend hasn't happened yet but I'm sure it'll be 
the best thing ever. Later on today, I got assigned to go shoot the breeder show, and that is probably the it's the one show that I really wanted to see, and I've been listening to them since I was a kid, and it's gonna be it's gonna mean a lot for me to see them and getting to be right up front and getting to shoot that and get it all on video and then getting to work with that video is going to be a great experience and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm sure that's going to be a, a, my highlight of, for the weekend. Um, so far this weekend um, I've gotten to shoot a, a ton of amazing shows but this morning we actually got to interview Tegan and Sarah which was an incredible experience and I've always been a fan of theirs so uh, that was amazing and then afterwards I got to actually see them perform live so I mean that I definitely have to say that's up in the top things I've done this weekend they're super sweet like super kind like totally they were a great interview they were really easy to talk to they as soon as they walked up they introduced themselves to all of us um, which a lot of artists haven't really done um, some artists are kind of more standoffish whereas they like totally welcomed us in and it was great it was amazing to try to pull the wall over your eyes while you weren't looking your dinner was disguised you won't see it mentioned in the supermarket aisle it's hiding in the boxes where the GMOs are piled. You've got.